Welcome back to Pokemon Diamond. So, if you haven't noticed, I'm gonna heal all my Pokemon real quick before we take on the gym leader and hopefully our Pokemon do not die. Because if they do die, I have to release them and get fucking shit. I. I honestly am a little bit scared about this because that Cranidos that this bitch has is going to be quite difficult to take care of, so... You know, we'll see what happens and just hope hope for the best here. Let's see, alright. Let's do it. I'm gonna... <laughs> I should, I should like, narrate this like a Wi-Fi battle. Yeah. Right, welcome! This is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. But I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. Rock-types are gay! A stupid gym leader, you dick. All right, let's do it. I like your hat, bro. You know, you can you can barely tell that this person's a dude. It looks like a girl. I really gotta make it definitely more clear of which gender this motherfucker is. Okay, so he leads off with a Geodude at level 12. We have Gary, which is going to get the Intimidate, which uh, which would probably help a little tiny bit. Honestly, this Geodude probably won't even be too big of a deal for uh, for Gary, but I, I mean, for Gary it would be because he only has Tackle, so I'm going to switch into QWERTY, probably take a Rock Throw, and uh, Bubble should kill it in one hit. I didn't really even need to get the Intimidate, I don't think. Let's see. Oh shit, he used Stealth Rock. Okay. That's weird. So he he, he starts off with some Stealth Cocks. This is, uh, this is a Wi-Fi battle. I'm just going to go straight for the Bubble, see if I can uh, see if I can kill it. I, mean, I do outspeed the Geodude, the stupid fucking Geodude. He's uh, yeah, it, yeah, and it kills it. All right, Cedar Rock dude is dead. That's some good shit so far. All he done, all he's done so far is got some rocks up, which actually kind of scares me because I probably am going to be switching out a little bit. And if you don't know what Stealth Rocks do, they uh, they uh, whenever you switch into Pokemon, you get anally probed by Stealth Rocks and it hurts. So okay, so Shinx just learned Bite right there. That's some cool shit. And he is about to send out an Onyx. So, knowing that the Stealth Rocks are up, I do not want to send in Shinx to get the Intimidate on this Onyx, simply because I don't want to take the Stealth Rock damage and risk losing one of my guys. So let's just stay in with QWERTY, go for another bubble, and see what happens there. Oh yeah! Your sh how does Screech miss? Isn't it just a noise? You know, in the first place, how the fuck does Onyx even make a Screech? He's a big pile of rocks. I. I'm not even gonna question this shit. Okay, so this stupid bitch is just gonna use a use a potion. That's not. I, I, I'm not too worried about using potions now. I mean, I would rather him use the potions on his Onyx than his uh, Cranidos that he has, which he's gonna send out later. Okay, so all right, that was weird. That uh, that did more than the first one, and Onyx has fainted. Quirty's gonna get all the experience for this, and we are level 14, which is quite good because we're gonna need all the fucking levels we can get to take out this Cranidos. So, uh, damn, we're almost all like halfway to 16 now. Okay, so next is Kranidos. We are going to keep battling because Shinx, I could go in Shinx and get the Intimidate, but I know that this thing has a uh, leer and I don't want my defenses to get fucked up and end up losing Shinx, so yeah. Okay, so he's level 14, I'm level 14. This is a, this is, this is quite the matchup. I, okay, so let's see, there's two options I have right here. I could go straight for the bubble and just have the offensive mindset, or I could go for the Growl and lower his attack. I think I'm just gonna go for the Bubble though. Um, pursuit. Pursuit is the main thing that you wanna be afraid of on this Kranidos for switching out. Um, that Pursuit will fuck you up, especially if he has the Stealth Rocks, because if you're trying to switch out your Pokemon, Pursuit will do a lot more damage, and then the next Pokemon that you send in will take a uh, take a few Stealth Rocks, so that, that kinda sucks. So. This guy's going for a couple leers. That's sketchy because leer lowers my defense, and I definitely do want not want my defense lower. I think it's to the point where my next bubble will not kill it. It'll leave it. Oh my god, fuck! It'll leave it at like one HP. Watch. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna I'm gonna bubble it one more time. Hopefully, I can get a critical hit. This pursuit won't kill me. Hopefully. Come on, Pipple up. Oh shit, 11 HP. Come on. Bubble kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it. Yes! It killed it. Holy shit, that was that was some scary shit right there because honestly, that looked like it would it could be either way. I probably got max damage hacks right there. I am the luckiest motherfucker alive. Holy shit. Okay, we grew to level four or er, 15 on QWERTY. Shinx didn't get very much action in this battle, but wow, Peck. Hell yeah, we're gonna forget a move for Peck. 
And we are going to delete... Is Peck pound better than Pound? Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna delete Water Sport. Water Sport... Water Sport is stupid, so... Yeah, we actually now have a flying type move, or a flying type move, and a water type move, so we we're we're, we're doing good on the move pulls here. Shinx learned bite this uh, this battle, and that's some good shit. That can't be my buffed up Pokemon. Yeah, you, you know, sorry, bro, your buffed up Pokemon just got their dicks handed to him on a silver platter. This is embarrassing. I went in lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge, but that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you beat me the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole Badge. Anybody that thought I was gonna lose a Pokemon on this, fuck your face, because I didn't, and I'm pro. We got the Cole Badge, and we are able to use the Hidden Move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also dig this too, obtain TM76. What? I think it might be Rock Throw. Contain, oh, Stealth Rock, okay. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle, right? Honestly, Stealth Rock is good for competitive play. In-game play, you're not going to want to be using Stealth Rock very often, so let's go ahead and not. Let's go see what's going on out here, and there's pretty much nothing new. Let's let's put Shinx in front. Um, he's a little bit under-leveled compared to QWERTY now, because QWERTY pretty much put the team on his back for that battle. So let's go heal up our dudes real quick, and... Um, then we'll be out of out of this stupid Pokemon Center. If you can't tell, I'm using the tab button to speed it up a little bit. It does make it a little bit laggy, but it also makes it so the text goes by quicker. So, yeah. So, all right, we got our first gym badge. We have no dead Pokemon so far. I honestly thought Giovanni would probably die in that match, but hey, Giovanni's cool. He he doesn't really hurt anybody. You know, he's he's hanging out with his Mud Sport and his Defense Curl and Tackle. He he's a pretty cool guy. I'm gonna be honest here. What the hell is it? What, what is this? The Orberg Mining Museum. Coal mining in you. Let's go to see what this shit's all about. Yo, what's up? Whoa, is this coal? I never expected something this big. Well, I got something big for you, bro. Hey, what the f- why am- what, what's up with your green hair? Hello, welcome to the Orberg Mining Museum. There's- there's like nothing that even happens here. What a pointless building this was. Like, that's not even a- that's not even an exit there. There's a fucking- this is a very nice museum. There's a big lump of coal in the middle. Cool. Cool story, bro. I guess that's interesting. I think if you head up this way, there's actually wild machops. Let's see if we have any Pokeballs. Let's, uh, let's definitely make sure we have Pokeballs before we go into the wild. Alright, we got 10 Pokeballs. Um, I really want a machop, and I'm pretty sure you can find machop here. If it's not a machop the first try, I'm gonna be honestly pretty pissed because machops are sick as fuck. And Geo, dude, fuck you! Oh, actually, I can, uh, that's actually some good news. I can continue looking for one, because if the first Pokemon you find is a Pokemon that you already have, you can find the next Pokemon. Um, just a little friendly reminder, the, uh, the rules to this Nuzlocke challenge are in the description, so if you ever forget, just check the description, and there you go. Machop, motherfucker! We are catching you. Hell yes. Alright, so, I know that I have super effective move on this, I have Peck. But, I'm honestly thinking that, uh, that would easily kill it, so... Let's see, what should I do here? I could, I could pound it, bubble it, peck it, or growl. Um, I'm gonna pound it, hopefully that doesn't kill it. Yeah. I'm level 15, though. I don't, I don't trust QWERTY, he's too strong. Last time I trusted QWERTY, he killed that damn Starly, I think it was. He got a critical hit on it, and I was pretty pissed off. So let's just go into Gary. And Gary's gonna take a, uh, whatever the hell he wants to do. Intimidate's gonna be helpful because... Yeah, low kick. That's a pretty that's a pretty good move that this Machop's got. He's got low kick already. I'm gonna go for the bite because it's not very effective. And it won't do very much damage because I'm not trying to uh not trying to kill this Machop. So I'm gonna go for a couple more bites. Maybe be uh, I don't trust I don't trust these low kicks, man. I don't trust them. One more bite, and there we go. We are ready to be using some uh Pokeballs on this guy. Okay, so Shin Gary's definitely good on HP, so let's throw some balls at this guy. Take my balls, Machop. Yes. Yes. Yeah! First try. God, I am so damn awesome. Alright, we got it. First try. Machop was caught. Hopefully it's a, uh, it's a good nature, and we are going to have a new addition to our team. It hefts a Graveler repeatedly to strengthen its entire body. It uses every type of martial arts. 
That's some hardcore shit. We are gonna give a nickname to it, and what the hell should I nickname this thing? Hmm, here's what I'm thinking. You, you gotta see this nickname. I am so weird. Cornopolis! The Geo- er, not Geo the Cornopolis, the Machop, is now part of the team. So we've- so far in all my Let's Plays, I've had Cornwallis, fucking Cordelius, Cornelius, Cornopolis, and... <laughs> it's a sassy nature, it often scatters things, and it's got Guts ability, which is pretty good. So basically Machop is a very offensive Pokemon and has 17 attack stat already, so it'll be it'll be a pretty good member, to the, member of the team. He knows low kick, leer, and focus energy, which is alright for me. And I'm a happy camper here. Let's grab this Pokeball real quick. And it would wouldn't you know it, it is a Pokeball. I think it's just I think it's funny as fuck when you find a Pokeball on the ground and it's like literally a Pokeball, you're like, oh, oh, okay. That's I guess that's cool. Another Machop, this one's only level five, so. Fuck this one. I'm definitely glad I- I'm gonna- I'm gonna peck this guy just to- You know what? Fuck you, Machop. Get pecked. You're dead. Late. Alright, so we're gonna end the episode here, guys. Next time we're gonna train up Machop, do a whole bunch of shit, and, uh, I will see you later.